Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2015. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, five people are injured in a Winchester plane crash. The Tennessee Highway Patrol confiscated a pound and a half of crystal meth in a routine traffic stop in Coffee County. Bedford County authorities need your help in locating two suspects in a drive-by shooting. We'll speak with Benny Garrick, longtime CEO of Traders Bank, who retired last Friday. And John Gray will take us to High on the Hog Festival held in Winchester last weekend. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. It's new car discount season at Stan McNabb Chevy, and we have prices that'll beat anybody else. New vehicles up to $17,000 off. Check out this brand new 2015 Chevy Cruze. Automatic, Bluetooth, XM radio, only $16.9. Chevy, Buick, GMC, Cadillac. Stan McNabb has all the new car brands you love in one location. And don't forget, we'll match or beat any dealer's price or give you a check for $500. And check us out online or schedule your service at stanmcnabb.com. We are Goody Two Scoops. I love Goody Two Scoops. A family-friendly, yummy dessert specialty shop in Tullahoma, Tennessee. We excel in self-serve frozen treats and our own incredibly tasty chef-baked creations. For frozen treat lovers, we offer frozen yogurt, ice cream custard, as well as gelato and Italian ice. 85 flavors that rotate each day. 55 toppings including fresh sliced fruit. For our baked good lovers, Goody Two Scoops offers a variety of fresh pastry at a hometown price. Our two certified culinary chefs design and create incredible cakes. We showcase our cakes, froyo cakes, cupcakes, cookies, pies, and chocolate covered strawberries offered fresh daily. Love for you. <laughs> Goody Two Scoops. Pretty much a good day for me would be people leaving their hands off of me. I'm always called names. Um, everywhere that I go, there's always someone um, calling me names, calling me gay. I've been choked, thrown up against a wall, punched. Nobody's ever tried to help me. Welcome back. Authorities are investigating a small plane crash in Winchester that injured five people on board. The Mooney 21 aircraft crashed around 2.30 p.m. Saturday, shortly after taking off from the Winchester Municipal Airport. Officials say the plane struck some power lines, apparently landed on its belly, but didn't flip over. The individuals on the plane were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The exact cause of the crash has yet to be determined, but investigators say the plane was designed to seat only four people. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office on Monday released the names of those injured in the crash. The pilot was identified as Clint Payne. His passengers were Michael Lombard, Desiree Thomas, Adam Miller, and Elizabeth Miller. All five were from Winchester. Members of the Tennessee Highway Patrol West Bureau Interdiction Plus team discovered approximately one and a half pounds of crystal meth methamphetamine on a routine traffic stop last Wednesday morning in Coffee County. Trooper Jeremy Miller initiated a traffic stop on a 2008 Honda Accord for speeding in a construction zone near my mile marker 124 on Interstate 24 westbound at approximately 1036 a.m. last week. During Trooper Miller's conversation with the driver, he noticed what appeared to be marijuana residue on the floor mat on the passenger side of the vehicle. Trooper Miller had a drug detector canine named Dulce in his vehicle. The canine gave a positive alert to drugs in the vehicle. The trooper uncovered a box of diapers in the back seat and found that the box flaps had been glued down and taped. A search of the diapers revealed approximately one and a half pounds of crystal methamphetamine within two sleeves of Pampers. Ashton Jones, age 27, of Atlanta, Georgia, was arrested and charged with possession of Schedule II drugs with intent to sale and deliver, simple possession of Schedule VI drugs, possession of drug paraphernalia, and speeding. She was booked into the Coffee County Jail. The Tennessee Department of Agriculture says it has received 53 applications seeking approval to grow industrial hemp. 
The Knoxville News Centennial reports the applicants will serve as test cases for the state law if the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration gives its approval to the project. Officials say industrial hemp is the same plant species of marijuana, but it has a significantly lower content of THC. It can be used in a variety of products, including fabric, textiles, fibers, and foods. The DEA has asked state officials for more details on planned uses for the crop. Those who applied to grow hemp asked for pl plots ranging from one-tenth of an acre in Nashville to more than 900 acres in Memphis. Most sought approval to grow the crop on five acres of land or less. The Bedford County Sheriff's Office needs your help in locating two suspects. On April 14th, members of the Bedford County Sheriff's Office Criminal Investigation Division were called to investigate a drive-by shooting at a residence on Highway 41A North near Unionville. Fortunately, no one was injured in the incident. During the investigation, investigators learned that there were four individuals responsible for one shooting. One suspect, Devin Paul Shaw, 18, was arrested and charged with aggravated assault. Two suspects remain at large. One suspect has yet to be identified. Authorities are still looking for Tyus Savon Allison, age 19, and Des Lamar Turner II, age 23. If anyone has any information on the location of these two suspects and or information on the identity of the fourth suspect, please call the Bedford County Sheriff's Office at 931-684-3232 or Shelbyville Bedford County Crime Stoppers at 931-685-4300. You can remain anonymous and your tip could be eligible for a cash reward. Tennessee's revenue collections fell short of budgeted expectations in March. Finance and Administration Commissioner Larry Martin said overall March revenues were $943.7 million, which is $15.6 million less than the state budgeted. Total tax collections in March were 1.26 percent below the previous year. Martin said, quote, March collections reflect weaker than anticipated revenues from the sales tax category due to the severe ice storms which occurred in February. We believe this is an isolated occurrence and that consumer spending will reflect somewhat normal growth next month, end quote. On an accrual basis, March is the eighth month in the 2014-15 fiscal year. The general fund was undercollected by $16 million and the four other funds were overcollected by $0.4 million. Sales tax collections were $32.5 million less than the estimate for March. The March growth rate was a negative 3.17%. For eight months, revenues are overcollected by $117.8 million. The year-to-date growth rate for eight months was a positive 5.67%. We'll be right back in a moment with more Newsleader on 6. We're having a huge inventory reduction sale going on right now at Russell Barnett Kia with the largest selection in history with over 100 to choose from any make, any model. Check out this 2014 Kia Forte, 14803, or this 2014 Kia Optima, 19587. With America's best warranty, the 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. Any make, any model, over 100 to choose from. Why buy anywhere else? Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. There's no place like home. Getting home safely is just a click away. And choosing the right seat for your little one's age and size will take you down the road to safer travels. How can I ever thank you enough? Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. Welcome back. Benny Garrick, longtime CEO of Traders Bank, retired last week. News leaders Amelia Marquez spoke with Benny last Friday as he celebrated with numerous friends and well-wishers. Tonight we bring you part one of that interview. Hi, I'm Amelia Marquez and I'm with Benny Garrick, former CEO and President of Traders Bank. How are you doing today? I'm doing just fine. How are you doing? Absolutely wonderful. Well, Benny, how long have you been with Traders Bank? Uh, a little over 42 years. Wow. And do you remember the first day you started? Well, yeah. Uh, it was in March of uh, 73. And uh, 
for the first three days, I uh, kind of stood by Tom Scobie's desk and uh, got familiar with the paperwork. And then they gave me a desk. And I said, what do I do now? And they said, if you think they'll pay it back, lend it to them. And I've been doing that ever since. So what brought you to Traders Bank? What made you want to do banking? You know, I'm, I'm not sure exactly that I wanted to do banking, but I got a call from Tom Scobie and he said that C. Ray Copeland had said it's time for us to get some young blood in the bank. And my name was brought up and he called me and I came and talked to him. And we worked out a deal. It's time to turn it over to the younger generation now though. Yes. It is a new generation for Traders Bank, absolutely. So Benny, what are some of the high times and some of the low times being here at Traders Bank? Well, let's don't dwell too much on the low times. Uh, obviously, the 20% uh, interest rates on the loans was a tough time for borrowers and banks. Uh, that was in the early part of the 80s. 1980s to be specific so you'll understand where I'm coming from. Uh, then uh, some of the good times we used to, all the banks in town played softball against each other. Since softball is a 10 man or 10 person game, we were able to play five girls and five guys on each team. And that was fun. All the banks got along, worked good together. Yeah. We didn't have a lot of government regulation back in those days. We could have fun. Yeah. You know, we had time to. Mm -hmm. uh, we were able through the years to take uh, the employees to places like the General Jackson, the Barn Dinner Theater in Franklin, Opryland. Uh, you know, those were, were great, fun times of camaraderie. Now, the other thing that was good times is all the customers. You know, I've been dealing with some of these people since I started here. Absolutely. That are still banking with us. And that's just fantastic. You know, the other day I had to somebody had died and they called me over there and her son was in here who I did not remember but he said you gave me my first loan you know yeah that makes you feel kind of good so Benny that's a very interesting story so who are some of the people that helped pave the way and you had an honor to meet throughout your career well, uh, I guess uh, one of the most important people that I ever dealt with was C. Ray Copeland, who was president and uh, CEO. And he was my mentor and gave me lots of advice, lots of advice. And I loved him dearly. Uh, there was Jack Jones, who was the executive vice president. And uh, I remember when one of the ladies had left uh, the management of the Lincoln Street branch, there was talk about me going down there and running it, and Jack Jones said, I disagree with that because I think he is grasping the whole picture and we need to keep him here in the main bank. And I, I mentioned earlier, Tom Scobie, uh, he taught me how to collect and repossess and make car loans and was a great friend. Uh, then, you know, through the years, there's been so many wonderful people work here. Some of them have passed on and that makes me sad. And they passed on before their time. We'll be right back after these messages. It's new car discount season at Stan McNabb Chevy, and we have prices that'll beat anybody else. 
New vehicles up to $17,000 off. Check out this brand new 2015 Chevy Equinox. Over $4,000 off. Chevy, Buick, GMC, Cadillac. Stan McNabb has all the new car brands you love in one location. And don't forget, we'll match or beat any dealer's price or give you a check for $500. And check us out online or schedule your service at stanmcnab.com. Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back. This past weekend was High on the Hog weekend in Winchester. John Gray was there for the food, fun, and more food. Let's watch. This is where the judges are. This is the judging room here. And there's, as you can see, there are people all over everywhere, and they have score cards in front of them, and they have uh, all kinds of plates. Here's. Here's our two superstars right here. <laughs> Don't they? How, how, how does that? How does this work? Each plate have, has a number. They have a number when it's given to the judges, and then when they, I mean, the teams, and then when it comes in, we put another number on it. So it's a totally different number. Change it in the kitchen. If we change it in the kitchen. Change it in the kitchen. So, and this is the judging room. Yes, and there's no one table that will get the same team. All of these people are accredited for, uh, for what they do, and they're judging brisket right now. And what are, what are the things you judge on brisket? How tender it is. How tender it is. How tender it is. Six, nine. And that's a plate of brisket being shown to the judges, and what they do is it has a number on it and they judge it for different things as far as appearance, flavor, tenderness, and uh, they'll be able to, uh, they're judging right now for the appearance of the meat only. This is a, this is a plate of brisket and what happens after they, judge, after they judge it, then all that's left over is packed up and taken and, and given donated to Good Samaritan. Good Samaritan. So a lot of a lot of families that need good food will be eating good tonight. That's right. They? And Good Samaritan comes in and we give it to them and they distribute it. Alright and this is the trophy table of the high on the hall of trophies and and uh, there's a, there's the championship trophies right there. Alright I'm here with Dennis Ricks and he's from Smyrna Tennessee and he is was a table captain for the judging at High on the Hog. And Dennis, just exactly how does the judging process take place? Well, the judging process takes place when, as I'm a table captain, I present the barbecue to the judges, and the judges, they judge it for appearance on the first category, and then the second category, they judge it for taste, and then the last, they judge it for the tenderness. And the way they do that is like they start from the taste. If it's too salty or, or too dry, or, you know, they give a, a score between two and nine. Nine's the high, six is average. And they go from there, and then they go from the uh, the, uh, the, the, the the tenderness. And that, that's just like you do a brisket. You can pull a brisket in two, and if it pulls in two real. 
tender, then it's real easy, then that means that it's cooked just right and it won't fall apart. If right. it falls apart, it's overcooked. The judge, uh, uh, chicken, ribs, pork, and brisket. There's four categories in this in this contest today. Yesterday they did dessert, sauce, and I'm not sure what other they did yesterday. And how long have you been doing this, Judge? Well, I've been judging for since uh, 05. My wife and I enjoy doing this because it's like a big reunion. Every time we go to a contest, we see people that we see down the road. And it's, it's a really a, a, right. something to do. Well, of all the places you go and judge, you told me you travel about three or four hours around from Smyrna. How does this, how does this event right here rank? This is one of the best events that we do. Uh, in Winchester, we know several of the reps here and the people here, and we've been doing this for a long time here at this one in Winchester. And it's, it's a luck of the draw to get into this one. It's a pleasure to be here to do this one, and they really treat you really nice down here. We'll be right back with more news later. The highest standard of excellence requires dedication and commitment. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of excellence in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift, quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma, come see the paint doctor stat. Look around, the changes catch your eye, and you come to realize. One can make a difference. Since 1915, Kiwanis International has touched millions of lives. When you help one child, you help the world. But one can make a difference. Welcome back. The Centennial Women's Club held their annual wine tasting fundraiser last Thursday. This year's proceeds will be used to support the Light Up South Jackson Project and Shepherd's House. Let's watch this video from that event. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the Lakewood Golf and Country Club where the Centennial Women's Club is having their annual wine tasting event. All right, and the money made tonight is going to one of two places. One of the, one of the things it's going to is Light Up South Jackson and it is something that the Centennial Women's Club has adopted and uh, part of the money will go to there and the rest of the money will go toward the Shepherd's House. So it's a great event. Look at that t-shirt right there. And the room is full as always at the Centennial Women's Club wine tasting. You know, all the notables and selectables are here. And they have, uh, this is, this is the, the wine is provided by the Dameron Brothers at the Liquor Locker. And Mr. Jeff Hazard right there he is. And uh, it's, it's to be tasted, to be, find out what you might like and uh, what you might want to go buy. And it's a fun time for everybody and a, and a lot of money's made and given to great charity. And what happens here is, hello, hello, how is everybody? Happy, happy wine tasting. And springtime. What happens here is you get to go around the table and they give a, they give a list. There's a list of the different wines that are being uh, tasted tonight and you get an opportunity to taste the wines and see, look at that pair over there. Good looking if I've ever seen it. Taste the wines and then learn about uh, how you're supposed to pair them with different foods. And it's educational, it's fun, and it's a great fundraiser. These two right here, you talk about two favorites. There they are, serving that wine up at the Centennial Woman's Club Wine Tasting. There's a couple smiling faces right there, look at that, isn't that good? All kinds of great people here having fun. 
at the Centennial Woman's Club, wine tasting, there's Sandy right there. You know, it's great to see these people. You always see the good ones helping. There's Marion right there. Look at that pretty face. They're all here tonight. Thank you. Have a cheese and fruit and all the good things out here at the Lakewood Golf and Country Club. And it's the fundraiser by the Centennial Woman's Club. Hello, hello, hello. There's a, there's a chairperson right there. Look at that. Look at those two pretty faces right there. I am the uh, president of Shepherd's House Board. It is a um, eight member board. But the Shepherd's House is a homeless, a home for the homeless. It's the only homeless shelter in four counties. We have a 15 bed uh, capacity. Our goal is to help them change their, their direction of their lives. If you all haven't seen the rendering out in the hallway of South Jackson, you need to look at it. Uh, that is a great treasure for the city of Tallahoma, and it is need repair for a long time. Help us, we're going to be hitting uh, businesses and sending letters to individuals, but if you want to make a check out tonight, we'll take it. Uh, we also have t-shirts, note cards with the rendering on it. So this is a uh, uh, Centennial Women's Club's Community Improvement Project. Here's that good looking group right there. Hello. Look at them. The Centennial Woman's Club and the Dameron Brothers. Doing great things for Tallahoma. Always. Don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m. Thursday morning at 9 a.m. and Thursday, Friday and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guest includes Sandy Hayes who will tell us about how you can help our local people in need while having a delicious barbecue dinner. And we'll learn about a local group who will be bringing television celebrities from the TV show Pit Bulls and Parolees to Manchester Coffee County Conference Center. All that and more on this week's Living. Stay with us. We'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. The wait is finally over. The 2015 50th anniversary Ford Mustang is finally here. This is one awesome vehicle. Let me give you a few stats on this V8 Mustang. 435 horsepower independent rear suspension, 25 miles per gallon, and this is the one you've been waiting for, 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Don't blink an eye or you'll miss it. Come by Russell Barnett, Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester and check it out. The 2015 Mustang, the all-new redesign, will leave you speechless. Serving you as a local firefighter. Proudly served our country in the United States Air Force. Serving Tullahoma. Helping our kids. Hi, I'm Terry Stroop. Your comfort is our service. We'd like to thank Telehoma for the privilege of serving your heating and cooling needs. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1946 at 87 degrees. The record low was in 1983 at 28 degrees. Average high on this day is 73 and the average low is 50. Tonight, look for partly cloudy weather in your forecast with a low of around 48. Rain in the forecast for Wednesday with a high of 73 and a low of 59 and partly sunny weather expected on Thursday with a high of 70 and a low of 60. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for Newsletter on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great evening.